McAllen, Texas, Luke Mejia. And in just a few moments, history will be made right here in Evansville, Indiana. I am Jeff Osborne welcoming you to Hook and Shoot Revolution, the first women's card of mixed martial arts inside United States soil. Erica Montoya with Chris Brennan in her corner. Set to take on Ruth Mejia in the 125 pound division. Montoya coming off a win just two weeks ago over Betta Young in Hawaii. Ruth Mejia making her mixed martial arts debut. Mejia has had two fights. Unfortunately, the other two opponents never showed up. And we start round one of Hook and Shoot Revolution. Mejia left jab, both of them connecting. Oh, back fist by Montoya and a double leg takedown. Montoya has an extensive high school wrestling background. She is 17 years old. Just got her driver's license about six months ago and is now learning to fly. Inside the guard of Mejia picks her up and lands a right. Montoya also went to Brazil, competed in the Worlds for the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and took first place at the age of 16. And she is trying to get her right leg through to pass that guard of Ruth Mejia. Mejia will have more heart than many of the men you see fighting these days. And I believe Montoya has gained the mount position. And she is throwing some leather down. She has the arm tied up. See Montoya wrapping her arm around the back of the head of Mejia and holding her left arm down so she can't defend her face. And Mejia is taking some shots. But I can guarantee you this, she's not even thinking about tapping. Montoya, a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, now trains with Chris Brennan, formerly on the Machado team. Montoya trying to improve her position, maintain her balance, and those are getting through a couple of hard rights to the face of Mejia. And Montoya has gained the full mounted position. Mejia trying to bridge out. And there's an armbar attempt. And Sean Brockmull in immediately sensing the danger for Ruth Mejia and stops this fight. And Erica Montoya gains her second victory in just two weeks. And at 17, she has a long career ahead of her. The winner via armbar submission, Erica Montoya. Erica Montoya with an armbar submission. Let's take a look back and see how all this transpired. Here is that beautiful double leg takedown. Drops to one knee, drives it forward. Look at that. And from there, she landed the shots, but to Mejia's credit, she was not going to give up. And there is one look at the arm bar, fully extended, and Sean Brockmull in for the stoppage. 
and Erica Montoya gains her second mixed martial arts victory. Erica, two fights in less than a month, two victories. How's it feel? It was great. <laughs> Um, it's really adrenaline rushing, you know, it just keeps you going and I think that first one really motivated me so I think winning your first one is like most important because then it gets your, you know, I don't know, your when karma you, up. When you came out, uh, you and Ruth were exchanging clothes, did, you, did her stand up surprise you initially? Um, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Her stand, her, she's a tough one. She's a little bit, she's tough, she packs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> her legs are pretty strong. I couldn't get my leg, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Were you setting it up? Yeah, yeah, I was setting it up and um, just her arm got caught. I don't know if she tapped, so, you know, I don't know if her arm or not, but I think her arm got caught underneath my leg. Because the ref went to stop it and then he, he backed up and then he stopped it. So. Yeah, and Chris, uh, you've been working with Erica now for a few months. Does she cease to surprise you? <laughs> no. I see her in the gym every day. I know what she's capable of, you know, it's just a matter of. Well, she put it together in the ring, and twice in two weeks she's done it now. You know, it's been two weeks since her first one, and uh, she did it again. This one she finished like two and a half minutes. She was able to calm down, still strike, and switch to the arm lock. Her transition to submission from striking now is coming along really fast. She's 17, you know what I mean? Anywhere she can go. I mean, right now I think she's at the top of her weight class in this sport. Um, if she grows as she gets older, we'll move on to another weight class. If she doesn't, you know, uh, they're going to have to recruit people from somewhere else. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Ruth, I, I know you're disappointed after the fight, but uh, you still put out a game effort and showed a lot of people uh, a lot of skill. What's going through your mind right now, though? Just, um, I mean, I'm just happy to just to be here and just to, you know, step in there. Basically, it's just hopefully maybe next time, you know, train a little bit harder, put a little bit of more effort, and after that, let's see what happens. And then once I hit the ground, I know she's really good on the ground. I kind of panicked. Um, after that, uh, it was just I was trying to get out. She kind of like, she had a real good position on me. And then that arm bar came out of nowhere. So that's basically it, you know. But I should have just kept it standing. I mean, she's a real good fighter. How's the arm? I'm pretty good. Yeah, did it pop? Did it pop? No. I felt it was about to pop and you know the referee stopped it just in time. I couldn't get my hand out and just tap out but he saw it and he stopped it. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.